the things that happen over the years is that we, we just become to appreciate how complex and multifaceted, w wouldn't you agree, yes. this pathway is? I would have to agree that it's been a bit humbling to go back and say there were times when we thought, okay, we have this figured out, only to realize we weren't even close. And mm -hmm. so I don't think we're, we have a long ways to go, but we're, we're making great progress. I got into this field when I saw the, the power of a RAS oncogene to transform normal cells to tumor-like cells in culture. And uh, this is the work that Ged Channing was a leader in. The question is, is often, is KRAS druggable or not? And it's been deemed undruggable for many, many years because most previous efforts have failed. In the past, because of fares, we've considered undruggable, but it's an artificial definition. And I think once we have some success, Everyone will be calling it a druggable target. The very fact that there's so many people now, much more than in the past, that are interested in this question by itself will probably contribute to uh, potentially more successes in terms of targeting RAS. Frank's bias is targeting RAS directly. My bias is targeting downstream effector signaling. What is your favorite? Finding perhaps an Im immune therapy approach that is based on, uh, on RAS, on mutant RAS tumor cells, assuming that the cells are presenting something on the cell surface that mm -hmm. is going to be antigenic mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. the immune system. See, so. Three RAS researchers, three different opinions. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I, I, exactly. I agree with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we need to facilitate the meeting of the minds. I mean, we really need mm -hmm. to bring people who understand the immunology, but not necessarily understand RAS and, mm -hmm. and, and vice versa. Also, um, there are a fair number of pretty good funding opportunities for young people to get started in this area, maybe more than other areas in biomedical research because of the generosity of donors and people like Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. The fellowships and opportunities to get started in your career, which I think makes it much easier for a young person to get traction. There is never has been, I think, in the history of the field, better times to be optimistic. Just the sheer amount of effort and work that is being done in this area has exactly. to deliver something. The level of excitement in RAS research is higher than I've ever seen it, and a lot of new people are coming into the field. Why would a young investigator think about a career of working on trying to treat uh, pancreatic cancer? I tell the people in my lab that the satisfaction of accomplishing this, while it's tough, would be immense because there's so many people out there who are just desperately waiting for us to accomplish this. So that satisfaction, I think, is, is great motivation. I also tell people that it is a great community. The field has a legacy and a history. It's not only that they're working on a scientific problem, yes. but they're becoming members of a mm. community that really think together about the problem. It's about <laughs> the science, but it's more than the science itself. It's really who are the people that you interact mm. with. Um, wow, that's yeah. really remarkable. That's exactly what I tell people in my lab, yeah. that I remind them it's, it's not just about establishing cool scientific paradigms. It's not about getting sour nature papers, but that there are people out there who are, are depending on us. I tell people, remember why we're doing this.